Yo, what is going on? You're welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Drunk Deer G60 and all my thoughts and opinions about this keyboard and if I think it's worth picking up over every other Hall Effect board. So first I want to start by saying that Drunk Deer did send this keyboard out for review. There's not in any way affect my opinion of this keyboard, but this is a pre-production unit, so there might be some issues with mine that the final copies will not have. And secondly, before we get the video started, I just want to say that this is a crowdfunded Kickstarter project that will be releasing on the 23rd. So this keyboard is not available for purchase at the moment, but think of your Kickstarter order as a pre-order, and you can get it for a really decent price. I'll talk about that all later in the video. So first I want to talk about just the actual performance of the keyboard. So this is a Hall Effect keyboard. Hall effect just meaning it's using a mag a magnet to actuate the switch it's a little bit different from the standard mechanical switch which has a reset and an actual actuation point where if you look at this diagram here you can see that there's two points that the at that the switch will be actuating at there will be and anytime you're above that activation point, the switch will not register. And anytime you're under that activation point, it will always be registered. So there's no way to really control how the keyboard feels. This is where Hall Effect comes in. Hall Effect uses a magnet, which is nothing like a mechanical switch. It's similar in the look and style. These are Cherry MX stems, so they look so you can use a normal keycap set on it. But they have a feature called Rapid Trigger, and with Rapid Trigger, you're able to always have constant motion. So when you let up off the key, even a little bit, you've already reset actuation, and it allows for really quick, really quick dynamic movement. So in games like Apex or Valorant or CS, where you need things for like tap strafing, you need stuff like neo strafing, counter strafing, all these specific movement tech things you can do in games, the rapid trigger will help you be really fluid in that and not really lose that uh, momentum. So with that being said, this keyboard does come with those switches, Hall Effect switches. They're using the Risha Hall Effect switches. These are the ones found in the Drunk Deer G65 as well. They're the exact same switch. I believe those are on the A75, but don't quote me there. I don't have, I haven't tried the A75 yet. They're relatively like linear style switches. There's no tactile bump, so you're not going to get that really nice responsive bump like you would in Akko Lavenders or MX Cherry Browns or Cherry MX Browns. But you are getting that really nice, consistent, smooth feeling. These switches do not come lubed out the box. So if you are a keyboard modder, you will be able to lube these switches and do what you want to do with them. But they are a little bit wider than the standard switch. So you will, so I think you'll need to get a new switch opener because I couldn't fit them in any of mine. I have this really cheap, crappy one, and I have the glorious one, and I just couldn't get it to fit in either one of them. When it comes to just how the keyboard sounds overall, it sounds fine out of the box. They did over-lube the stabs in my unit, so they sound decent, but the actual switch being unlubed does kind of kill that really nice sound profile it could have. There is a very thin layer of foam on the bottom, and then I do believe that there is an actual silicon dampening pad in the middle. Don't quote me there. I've only opened it up once. I'm just really going off memory, but it is a pretty well made keyboard and at the price point that the kickstarter is going at which is going to be 70 dollars for the first 300 orders and then every order after the first 300 is going to be 80 dollars i really can't complain because the only keyboards i can even recommend around that 80 dollar price point would be the and pro maybe you know really old fortnite keyboard or there's a couple of really random Chinese brands that have really nice custom keyboards without the feature set that this keyboard has, which is Rapid Trigger and Turbo Mode. Turbo Mode is just a is similar to Tachyon Mode and the Wooting, where it pretty much lowers your latency to the lowest it can possibly be, and it's super fast and responsive. But I do have to note that this is a there's no firmware for this keyboard yet. Like I said, this is a pre-production unit. So I did have this issue when enabling Turbo Mode that whenever I hit the space bar it would just continue holding it for like a solid like quarter second and there was nothing i can do about it so i did have to factory reset the keyboard but that issue was resolved after factory setting the keyboard and i just don't use turbo mode i only keep the rapid trigger on with turbo mode off one thing i did forget to mention is that this does have a web software very similar to wooding's web software where you're able to change the rapid trigger, set activation point between keys, and enable key track tracking, you know, so you can see the keys. Whoa, you can see it being used. Also change your colors here. I personally like to keep all the RGB off. I don't like RGB. And because these aren't shining through keycaps, you don't even need RGB to see them. You can also remap specific keys to do specific functions. So you see you have everything here that you can use to remap. You could even make mouse one your space bar, which would be insane, but you can do it. But yeah, no, it's a solid so it's a solid web-based software. I'm so glad we're moving away from actual softwares and going into web-based because it's just it's so much better than uh, actual softwares. 
But next, I just want to talk about the actual construction of this keyboard. This is using PBT keycaps. They are a much nicer print quality than the G65 that I have, where everything looked kind of loppy and weird. It looked really kind of like thrown together. They did improve the print quality a lot, but these aren't as nice as my Echo Hurigari, I think that's the name of the keycaps. So the pink and black keycaps you've seen on my previous custom keyboard I had in almost all of my videos. So these are the Echo pink and black keycaps that I absolutely love. This is the Polar 65. I will be doing a review on this coming very soon as well. I have so many rapid trigger keyboards to get through and we're just starting with the G60 because the one I've been actively using. But these are the keycaps that I kind of fall back to as just the standard of solid keycaps. These I think are like 30 to 60 bucks. And you can tell the print quality on these are absolutely magnificent. When compared to the G60, these kind of ju just feel like really cheap plasticky keycaps. But the print quality is fine after a couple hour or a couple like weeks of, of gaming. I've had no issues with anything scratching off. It's been really consistent in that feel. It is using a standard plastic case. This is nothing super impressive. So finally, I'm just going to go through a quick typing test. So you guys can kind of see how, how the drunk deer actually sounds in comparison to everything else. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. I do have a couple more keyboard videos to go over, like the Polo 65 versus the Wooting, and just a full-on Polo 65 review. And I did just get the OGM Cloud from Wise Owl. It's a very fun mouse that I've been using, and I'll be going over this in a future video as well. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.